You know, when you're starting to feel the fantasy, I start to do this look with my nose. And I'm like, hey guys, I'm Manny MUA, and I'm gonna go from this to this. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm gonna go in and moisturize my skin. And what I like to do is I have to go in my moisturizer, a big sponge, and just kinda lather it all over the skin. So we're gonna go in with some primer next, and this is just gonna help smooth out our complexion. I'm a full coverage kind of girl. We're gonna go in with these sticks and really, you know, cover up those mistakes that we made the night before. So like my first experience with makeup ever was actually in drag and it was so much fun to me. A friend of mine literally was like, okay, my work is looking for a job. And he worked at Sephora and he's like, hey, if there's a, a free spot if anyone wants to apply, if you have makeup experience. I had no makeup experience. I had not a single bit of makeup experience. But like, you know, I had heart and soul. And I was like, you know what? I've done drag a couple times. So why not, why not just try it out? I thought it was really, really fun. So I applied, I got hired by the, by the graces of all that's holy in this world. And you know, it's kind of gone from there. I just started it on a whim and it's taken off to like what it is today, which is like crazy. I'm so inspired by drag. I think drag is just such a beautiful form of art because if I had never started drag, I would have never found like the love of makeup and the beauty world in my life. And so I just feel like I owe a lot of what I have to the drag community. Hey guys, so today's vibe is gonna be, you know, sickening fish. I'm like literally over here like bronzer in and I'm like, haven't even said what we're doing yet. Sorry. And it's gonna be like a go out dramatic look. Cause I was thinking, okay, you know what? I was like, you know what? Let's do like cute daytime girl on the go. But I'm like, no. So that's what we're gonna do like a smoky eye, but with a pop of color and just kind of play it up. But we're gonna, you know, be a little bit dramatic with like the bronzer. I don't know how to say bronzer in Spanish, but like bronzer. Now we're gonna use blush, because blush makes you look nice. When you're wearing a lot of blush, it makes it look like you're not wearing that much makeup, because it's like, oh my God, my natural like flush is coming through. Like, <laughs> I'm so blushy. It's all an illusion. <laughs> so my mom has always been a glam girl, like her whole life, and I was so mesmerized by her transformation. And I always just thought like makeup was so powerful, because she always felt so powerful wearing it. And that to me was like, oh my gosh, like this is really, really cool. So I would literally just sit in front of her and watch her put her makeup on all the time. And I would sit there and just like, be like this, just watching her. I'm applying some highlighter right at the top of that zygomatic bone for those of you who took anatomy like me. <laughs> She's a smart girl, you know, she went to college. Oh my God, this is really bright, wow. So now we're gonna do some brows. And luckily, like I am pretty blessed in the brow department where I actually have some. I just run a pencil through it and, you know, say a quick prayer. And that's just warriors, you know? Arres warriors. Whenever I'm doing makeup, like if I'm full glam, I feel physically like a different human being. There's something about makeup, you guys, that is so transformative. And it's not just a physical transformation, it's a emotional and mental state as well. Sometimes when I'm carving out the brow and like making it look a little bit cleaner, I just will take it down and I'm like, oh look, it's a two-in-one. You know, it's like when straight people see like the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and they're like, score. It's like that. Oh my God, you're looking so cute. Okay, great. So now we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow, you guys. Oh, we're gonna do a smoky, a smoky-ish look. Growing up, I always thought it was very bad to be gay. I couldn't be gay because, you know, it wasn't accepted in my church. And I'm like, you know what? I can't be gay, that is what it is. So I remember one day when I was, I think I was 16. Oh, such an impressionable age. I was like flirting with this boy on MySpace, like, you know, dating myself, awesome. I left my computer open and left the room, came back, my parents were sitting on the table and they're like, Who's blah, blah, blah. And I was like, never heard of her. Like, I'm freaking out, right? I'm freaking out. They were like, okay, so what are we gonna do about this? And I was like, I don't know. And they asked me like, do you like boys? And I was like, <laughs> yes. And I just started bawling. And I started like, you know, bawling my eyes out. They, it became like a don't ask, don't tell. Like we just never talked about it. So that's kind of how it was for you guys for, for years. Like it was like that for a long time until I was, and I'm 27 now. So when I was like 22, when it was started to get like, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more okay. 
Yeah, now my dad works with me. My mom works with me. My, me and my dad did not have a relationship our whole life. Like we had nothing in common, nothing at all. He always just wanted to change me. He wanted me to be a sports guy and really into like that stuff. And I was like, but I'm a queer. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to play tackle football, which I did for like two years. And I was low key good at it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't go through hard times, how are you going to appreciate the good ones? And I think, you know what? That happened for a reason because now I'm a stronger person because of that. You might not be able to get to choose your family, but you can choose the people that you're around. I think that as long as you choose the right people to be around, you'll be happy. I've been so blessed to be a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, and someone that gets to live their dreams every single day, but it's not always easy. You know, there's moments where I have weak points where I'm like, oh shit, like, this is really shitty. So basically, you guys, I just added some green eyeliner because I just thought it would kind of go a little bit better with the blue. I had added purple and red, and I was like, nah, nah. I saw this, and I like this more. If this doesn't catch a guy's attention, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm gonna go with some eyeliner. Should I wing it out? Do I need it? I always need it. You guys, do you know who I think is sickening and I've been obsessed with since day one? Lady Gaga. So now we're curling our lashes to Jesus and we're going to be putting some mascara and some lashes on. I feel like she broke a lot of barriers. Like I feel like she didn't really mind being different and she didn't mind, you know, stepping out of her box. To me, that is just so inspiring and what I aspire to be like. Gaga, if you ever see this, I'm a monster bitch. And I wanna do a bold pair of lashes because our eye is so subtle. When I started out a couple years back, brands didn't want to work with me. Brands didn't like, you know, validate what I was doing as something legit. Look and look at it now. There's so many boys in the makeup scene and like new ones popping up every single day. I just love how the world moves so quickly when it's in demand of something. And now it's like becoming a norm. Did you see how fast I just did that? If I did that bold ass eye look, with no lashes. Now I'm gonna do my lips, and this is another very, very important part of the look. Wait, wait. you guys are gonna be shook. I know. I know. This is my real lip right there. This is my fake lip. So now we're gonna take a lipstick and I'm gonna go in with a nude because I enjoy nudity. <laughs> I love seeing people transform. I love being able to have someone come in one way and then leave a completely different way because really makeup is brings so much confidence to people sometimes. And it's like, yep, I get it because I'm the exact same way. And this is her. This is, you know, Manny Moi. Earlier was Manny. He's cute. You can get the boys. But this is Manny and Wayne. Sorry you guys, I keep looking at myself and I just, it's a Fritz Bernay. We can't do any better. 